The Philippines is one of my favorite countries in the world. The people there are so nice. It's beautiful. The islands are just like, oh man, like the island life, I'm telling you, it is the best life. and I am a solo travel vlogger. If you're new here, welcome, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be in the loop when I post new travel videos. Today, we are gonna be talking about the things you need to know before you go to the Philippines. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, flights. It's always an adventure getting around the Philippines. Just never expect that you are going to arrive or leave when you were supposed to. So I have had several instances where I've had a really easy 45 minute flight, boat ride, whatever, that somehow turns from 45 minutes into like a six to eight hour adventure. So just be ready for that. And that sort of leads me into my second point, which is your itinerary. Because it can be a little more challenging to get around the Philippines, just make sure that you plan enough days in every place you're visiting that is gonna be comfortable. For me, I would say like four is the minimum, honestly, because it does take so long to get places, especially some more remote islands. And when you're on vacation, it's really not a great time to just be like hopping from place to place to place to place and like powering through and then coming home exhausted. Like you wanna enjoy yourself and have a good time. So allow yourself to have fun by planning accordingly and giving yourself enough time at each destination. Luggage. Airlines in the Philippines love to overcharge for overweight luggage. So really make sure that your luggage isn't too heavy. Just avoid unnecessary fees because I did not avoid them and it wasn't ideal. So little, little tidbit there for you. Island transportation. So there's two main ways to get around when you are on an island in the Philippines, and typically that is tricycles and scooters. A tricycle is basically like a motorcycle that has like a sidecar situation on it, and they're a really convenient way to get around. You are driven somewhere by a driver, but the downside of this is that on some islands, they're really common. So like Boracay, for example, tons of tricycles everywhere, super cheap to get around, really easy. Other islands like Chargao and Tabla, for example not many tricycle drivers and like if you're gonna go one way to see something you need to like pay the same person to wait for you and take you back because you're probably not going to be able to get another tricycle to bring you back so it gets a lot more expensive so my recommendation in that case would be to take a scooter and by that I mean rent your own scooter and drive it yourself which was definitely something new for me on this trip in my past travels I never drove my own scooter but I really did feel safe learning in Chargao in the Philippines because the roads were really wide, they were very straight, they weren't very busy, and it was really just like the perfect environment to learn in. And also there's like another level of freedom when you are driving your own scooter. Let me tell you, like it's a whole level of independence that I'd never experienced while traveling before and I don't think I'll ever go back. Transport in the city. So if you are staying in Manila or Cebu and want to know how to get around, Highly recommend using Grab and Grab only. It is just like the safest, most reliable, best way to get around. It's basically like Uber. It's the same thing as Uber. The thing I love most about it is that there's no bargaining. If you're like me and you suck at bargaining, like I am just like terrible at bargaining, even like salary negotiations when I was a marketing director, so bad, so bad. So I, any situation where I don't have to bargain and just like the price is the price, that's a, that's, a, that's a real positive for me. Next up, SIM cards. SIM cards are just a great thing to have no matter where you're traveling. And as a solo female traveler, I always make sure I pick mine up right in the airport so I'm connected right away. It's just better for safety reasons, I think, to have a local SIM card in your phone. So if God forbid there's some sort of emergency or situation, you are connected and can reach help. In the Philippines, there are two main companies. The first one is Globe, the second one is Smart. I ended up going with Globe because I heard that they had like better overall service throughout the Philippines. Smart is a lot better on certain islands so a lot of people will actually travel with two SIM cards and swap them out depending on where they're going. Honestly did not find that to be necessary. I was fine with just one SIM card but to each their own so that is an option if that's your jam. Okay next up toilet paper. 
So, <laughs> bet you didn't think we were talking about this. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. Gosher Gao. I have seen so many more traumatizing bathrooms than this. This one's like very clean, very nice. But I have to say, when you're traveling, bring your own toilet paper and hand sanitizer because there ain't any here. <laughs> and to build off of that, tampons. So I'm very particular about what I put in my uh, lady business every month. I like to pack my own tampons because when you're traveling throughout really remote islands in the Philippines, I didn't see any tampons for sale. In Manila and like Cebu, I believe that you can buy them. But when you're island hopping off in a more remote area, there's not really tampons available. And as a woman, let me tell you, just just pack your own, you'll be glad you did. <laughs> travel vaccinations. So before you travel anywhere, really this should be like top of your list is a few weeks before at least, go to your local travel clinic and get their recommendation on what vaccinations you need updated or boosted for your travels. In the Philippines, there are regions where, for example, you need malaria pills. So definitely bring your itinerary with you when you're going to the travel clinic with like specific islands you'll be visiting because then they can give you the best recommendation to keep you safe. All right, Wi-Fi. I feel like everyone warns you before you go to the Philippines, like, oh, the Wi-Fi is so bad, beware, the Wi-Fi is so slow. I don't know, as a person who relies on the internet to upload several videos a week, I didn't find it like, like yes, it was really slow and not the greatest, but honestly, it didn't really bother me. If you're on a vacation, you're enjoying the beautiful island life, like you don't need to be sitting there on Facebook anyways. So I don't know, like it wasn't a big deal to me. It just took a little bit more pre-planning to upload my videos because it would take like nine to 12 hours <laughs> to upload a video sometimes. So I would just like hit upload the night before and then in the morning it would be done. Next up, visas. Most nationalities get a free 30 day on arrival visa in the Philippines, which is so nice, makes life way easier, but always double check on your government website to make sure that you are one of those countries that receives the visa on arrival because it would just really suck to arrive and not be able to enter the country. So that being said, once you arrive, if you would like to extend your visa, I believe you can do so actually in the airport if you want to stay longer than 30 days, or you can do it for a fee in major provincial centers. Another thing that's good to know is that foreigners legally have to carry a piece of ID with them at all times while traveling the Philippines. So just to be safe, what I did was I made a photocopy of my passport, folded it up, put it in my wallet so I had that in addition to my driver's license and like my other cards. It never came up and it probably isn't going to for you, but it's better to be safe than sorry and follow the rules and just keep your ID with you. It's not that big of a deal. So cash. Cash is king, and I mean like mm, king in the Philippines. I thought it was supposed to be a crown, you know. Anyways, do not plan on getting around by paying visa for your whole vacation because you are just not gonna get around. I'm telling you that right now. Another thing is bring cash with you before you arrive because ATMs are few and far between and they do not always work. So you could travel an hour to find an ATM and then it has no cash in it or just doesn't work. So make sure you arrive with enough cash for your entire trip. Water. So I really, really loved this and respected this about the Philippines is they were so amazing at having filtered water in like huge reusable bottles everywhere you went. So just make sure you bring your own water bottle because you're gonna save money on not buying individual plastic bottles. You're gonna save our ocean, you're gonna save our beaches, you're gonna save our planet. You're just gonna have free filtered water pretty much everywhere you go. Very few countries are that good about having fresh, accessible, and sustainable water. Dry bags. Dry bags come in very, very handy. I didn't actually buy one before I went to the Philippines. I bought it when I was in the Philippines and I was like, oh crap, all my electronics are gonna get wet because like it rains, the boats are usually like, they're like, oh, this is the dry area, but like there's no dry area. So make sure you get a dry bag. They come small sizes, big sizes, whether you just wanna throw like your passport and your camera in there and call it a day or put everything you own in it. The choice is yours, but yes, highly recommend having a dry bag. And finally, have fun. The Philippines is one of my favorite countries in the world. The people there are so nice, so welcoming. I made so many local friends, it was amazing. 
it's beautiful the islands are just like oh man like the island life i'm telling you it is the best life i love it there so much and i'm very confident you are gonna have a very happy vacation in the philippines or at least i hope you do that was my experience so yeah, that is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed, you hit that notification bell because I'm gonna be posting a lot more travel videos. I have a very exciting travel series coming for Japan and the Philippines, so stay tuned for that. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.